Welcome to the Yasuo Video Store. Today we're going to review Dirty Hope from 1979, directed by Larka Long, produced and released by Shaw Brothers for its 45th anniversary. The story is about Mr. Ho, who has recently stolen a box of jewelry, but that box itself gets taken away by Mr. Er Wong, who himself is a jeweler merchant, a art collector, and has a hobby of wine tasting. Mr. Ho try, attempts several times to get his box of jewelry back, but every time fails. For the final time, he gets struck to the head by a sword, which contains some form of poison, so now his forehead is ha has poison, and the doctors tell him that the only way to cure it is by finding the person who actually gave him the poison and asking them for the antidote or trying to figure out what the antidote is. So Mr. Ho goes back to Mr. Wong and asks for the antidote. Mr. Wong says he will give it to Mr. Ho in exchange to become his disciple. With a bit of hesitation, Mr. Ho agrees to be a Mr. Wong's disciple. So he has to follow him around for a few more weeks until his forehead is fully healed. During these weeks, Mr. Ho realizes that some people are trying to go after Mr. Wong with the end goal of killing him. Mr. Ho is perplexed by this, so he tries to figure out what's going on, along with protecting Mr. Ho Wong's life. And that's the basic plot of the movie and all that, and I'll say it's pretty good. What surprised me most about it was the comedic tone in the movie. It kind of caught me off guard because I've seen like several Shawbird movies and all of that. But I think the only few ones I've seen, aside from Cripple Avengers and maybe Chinatown Kid, really like kind of stray away themselves with a bit of comedy, aside from like the few jokes here and there, but it's mostly like serious plot. We gotta go after this guy and we gotta go after that guy. But this one kind of caught me off guard. I was like, oh! This is a pretty funny movie. And the comedy tone actually added to the fight scenes into the movie and all that because the fight choreography is really well done. It's trying to be like uh, in scenes where Mr. Wong is defending himself against people who are trying to kill him. He does it in a subtle way. Like in one scene, Mr. O is invited to, to drink, taste some wine. And as he's trying to t drink the wine, the people around him are trying to kill him and hurt him and all that. And he tries to back way and all that and he's like oh nice wine and that's what was pretty funny to me the cinematography really shines with the fight scenes and all that and the lighting really adds on to the cinematography itself at the end there's like a big fight scene and all that and it's like held at this large landscape and it looked really cool i was like oh i like the lightning and all that all this set design i first thought it was like did he really build this set for like one scene or one shot but no like there's more to it and all that but it's like really awesome to see like how much went on to go oh make this movie and the music in the story itself is also pretty good so I'll give it four out of five stars so now i only own this movie on the shaw scope volume one blu-ray set which i forgot how many movies it has here but basically it's like a big box set in comparison to this VHS tape of Challenge of the Masters, which is on this set. But I should note before we actually look into the set that I keep the disc on these separate slim cases. And that's mainly because I have the Godzilla Criterion set, as you may know if you've seen my previous videos. But that had like problem with the glue. So the disc would like, if you had it standing up, the disc would like slide down. And I'm concerned that this would happen with that. So that's why, for precaution, I keep them on separate disc. So if you get the set, the box comes like, all the discs are stored in this like uh, big, I don't know, what do you call this, a booklet or something like that, or disc carrier. So you have like King Boxer, the Boxers from Shang Tong, the Five Shaolin Masters and Shaolin Temple. Mighty Peking Man, this one's pretty cool. Uh, Challenge, of, Challenge of the Masters and Executioners from Shaolin. Uh, this movie, Executioners of Shaolin, is directed by Lar Kar Long. Chinatown Kid. And Five De Five Venoms and Cripple Avengers, the two Chang Chu classics. And Heroes of the East and Dirty Ho. In order of the disc and all that, these are the last two movies you'll get on the uh, set itself. So, starts with King Boxer, ends with Heroes of the East and Dirty Ho. Which is appropriate in a way because like this, these are like, Dirty Ho is from 1979 of course. And King Boxer I think is like from 72 if I remember correctly. Shoppers has some interesting history about the... Uh, it's music library. They license music from the, the Wolf Music Library. 
So you get the music for Dirty Ho on the second disc and it's the last, let's see, it's from track 23 to 29. I haven't listened to the music to it yet. I only listened it to like uh, some music from the, the first CD because it was like the Mighty Peaky Man music. And with that you get the big booklet. Big booklet. So you get like a lot of images from these movies, articles about the stars, the English dubs, and little like little sections about each movie itself with like film notes, uh, official trivia, name that tune, which is about like the music of the movie itself. So here's like the section for Dirty Ho. So yeah, I, I read a bit of this and all that, and there is some like interesting trivia here and there. Like I was kind of confused when watching this movie when they credited an actor who plays Dirty Ho, uh, well actually Mr. Ho correctly and all that, named Wong Yu. I was like, Wong Yu? You mean Jimmy Wang Yu? You know, the well-known um, martial arts film actor known for the one-armed boxer and master of the flying guillotine. You know, he's well-known for those movies. And I was like thinking like, is that Wong Yu? Really? And then I realized, oh wait, Hey, Wong Yu left Shoppers by 1970 and started working at Gar Golden Harvest. And this was like after, and when Dirty Ho moved, Dirty Ho came out, this was like after Master of the Flying King Team. So I was like, what? And then I actually look at the trivia, like the trivia, the the little trivia section here for, for the uh, movie and all that. And it says that the reason there's a guy named Wong Yu in the movie is it's actually a different actor. Uh, it will be you know, spelled Wang Yu, like W A N G Y U, and sometimes like they change the last part with Y U E, then Wang might be like W O N G. And it's rumored that like Run Run Shaw, out of spite of Jimmy Wang Yu leaving Shaw Brothers, he named this actor Wang Yu. <laughs> this reminds me about another movie called Ninja Thunderbolt, which is one of the first like IFD ninja movies. There's an actor credited as Jackie Chan, but it's a completely different Jackie Chan compared to the actual Jackie Chan. It's kind of convenient to be surrounded by movies because I could just pull them out as I'm talking about them. So I kind of find that to be fascinating and all of that. When I was researching for this movie, I actually discovered that it apparently got a U.S. release. And the only sort of evidence I have about this currently, which I haven't done too deep research about it, like there's a poster online, an English poster for the movie that says like World Northall. And World Northall is like known for like mostly distributing shoppers movies in the U.S., both in theaters and on television. And I was kind of intrigued by that. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And they kept the same title, Dirty Ho. I wonder if they did like an alternate opening credits for the movie that like didn't include the uh, Chinese, uh, like the Chinese texts all over it. But like the only, the only features for the movie it has here is a introduction by Tony Ryan's, which I haven't seen yet, but I should have. And you know the little, it's like the section of the booklet and a trailer and also the digital reissue trailer. So there isn't that much bonus features for it. But, oh, but overall, it's a pretty good movie. I suggest if you want to actually see it, but you don't want to pay like you know a whole bunch of money to get this set and all of them, which is still like available. Like if you, it's not out of print, you could like still buy it and all of that. Every video did separate releases in like small little like three to four movie packs. I'm forgetting where which one Dirty Ho is, but it's like it's in one of them. It's the same bonus features like if it's on the disc, but it doesn't include like the you know the big booklet here or the additional CDs. So that's all the video. Have a nice day. Later on, come back to our video store.